Welcome back everyone, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete and coding assistant that helps you code faster and smarter. And have you ever seen those intricate detailed images made only of ASCII characters? Well, you don't have to be a keyboard Picasso typing away manually for days to make one of these. It turns out we can actually use software to automatically generate awesome ASCII art. And today we're gonna to build a short interactive Python script to convert any image you give it into an ASCII art piece. And we'll use the Python image library to do it. First, let's talk about the general algorithm to convert an image into ASCII. The initial step is to resize the image to the desired width, maintaining the original image's aspect ratio. Then we'll convert the image to grayscale. After that, we'll convert each grayscale pixel to an ASCII character with a similar intensity. With each pixel translated into an ASCII character, we can then format and construct the new ASCII art piece. Before we get started, let's set up the basic mechanics of the Python image library, or PIL, before diving into the ASCII specific code. To do that, we first need to import pil.image. Next, we need a way to access image files that we want to replicate with ASCII characters. In the main function of our program, use the built-in function called input to allow users to enter a valid path name to an image. In a try statement, we'll create a PIL image object with that path name. If the path name is not valid, we'll catch that in an accept statement. Now, we're going to start on the conversion algorithm. First, initialize a list of ASCII characters. This list will include characters in descending order of intensity. Each pixel in the initial image gets associated with a character in this list with a similar intensity. For example, a darker pixel might translate to the at character, and a lighter pixel might translate to a period. Next, implement a function to resize the input image. Let's call this function resize image. It takes the input PIL image object and a new desired width as its arguments. Get the width and height of the image by accessing its size property. Next, calculate the ratio of the image's height to its width by dividing the two. Calculate its new height by multiplying the desired width and this ratio here. Then create a new resized image by calling the image's resize method and passing a tuple representing the new dimensions. Finally, return the resized image. After this, we need to convert the image to grayscale. So let's define a function called grayify that takes a PIL image object as its argument. We use this object's convert method and pass in the string L to convert it to grayscale. Then let's return the grayscaled image. Now that we have a way to resize an image and convert it to grayscale, we'll need a way to convert each grayscale pixel in the image to a corresponding ASCII character. Let's define a function called pixels to ASCII that takes a PIL image object as its argument. To get the pixels, call the getData method. This will return a list of each pixel's grayscale value. Using a list comprehension, iterate through each pixel and index a corresponding ASCII character from the list we created earlier. Bind this list into a single string with the built-in join function. Before we tie all these pieces together, I want to take a moment to tell you about Kite, which is the autocomplete we're using in this video. Whether you're new to Python or already a pro, you should try out Kite as your autocomplete to reduce your keystrokes and save time programming. Kite is a free plugin for your code editor that uses machine learning to save you keystrokes while you're programming. So if you're using Atom, VS Code, Spider, PyCharm, Sublime, or Vim, Kite will seamlessly integrate into your coding workflow. Kite can complete entire lines of code, and it has a feature called Intelligent Snippets that will help you fill in arguments and method calls with variables defined earlier in your script. The window on the right side of my screen here is also a Kite feature called the Kite Copilot. It automatically shows you relevant Python documentation while you type based on your cursor location. This saves you time from having to Google search for docs. The best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it from the link in the description below. Great, so now that we have all the parts we need, let's go back to the main function of our program. We'll call the resultant list from our algorithm new image data. As a recap, we've resized the image, converted it to grayscale, and replaced each pixel with an ASCII character. Our new image data is a big long list of ASCII characters, one for each pixel in our input image, but it is not formatted in our aspect ratio. To do this, we'll want to split our list into equal parts where the length of these parts is the desired width and the amount of these parts is the desired height. Use the built-in function length to get the full length of the list. Using list comprehension, split new image data, creating a list of strings. 
The length of each string is equal to the desired width of the new image. Using the built-in join function, we'll combine this list of strings into a single string separated by the new line character. Perfect, we now have all the mechanics in place to convert our image to ASCII, and all that's left to do is print the result. Let's call it ASCII image. You'll probably want to save the file to share this awesomeness. So, in a with statement, open a new file called ASCII image text in writing mode as f. We'll call f.write and pass in the resulting ASCII image to save it to the file. Now, let's run the file to check that everything works. We'll open our terminal, go to our current working directory, and run the script. It asks us to enter a valid path name, so let's pass in the path to the kite logo. Then press enter, and there you go. The ASCII art prints on the console. It also should have saved a file with the image too, so let's check that. Yep, there it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll have lots more fun Python projects coming your way. And finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin. The link's in the description below, and we'll see you next time.